by my um, time. And just to let you know that this meeting is being recorded, uh, just so we are able to um, share it with um, attendees. My name is Vicky Olua Shifeso, and I am the um, NSF UK Youth Engagement Lead. I welcome you to this um, workshop. And um, basically, we're just going to um, take you through um, all the little nitty gritties to help you um, with the Queen's Commonwealth Essay Writing Competition and what you need to do. Um, without further ado, I'll first introduce you to our director, Mr. Wale Sonwo, who would just say a few words. Over to you, Wale. Thank you, Vicky. Um, thank you for the um, introduction and welcome everyone to our short but important session on Queen's Commonwealth Essay Competition. Um, thank you, Vicky, for pulling this together uh, and the tech team behind the scenes. Can you say uh, at NSF UK, we, we have been involved with the Royal Commonwealth Society for a few years now. Um, initially through sending delegates of our youths and parents to an annual Commonwealth service at the Westminster Abbey, where they mix with the Queen, uh, the rest of the Royal family, um, the UK Prime Minister and other members of the government and uh, foreign dignitaries as well. Uh, we do this um, just to inspire our youths. We extended our involvement with the Commonwealth a couple of years ago uh, to participate in this um, essay competition, which um, Vic is gonna go through uh, with you shortly. Um, it's actually the oldest um, essay competition in the world. Um, it's over hundred years old. Um, it's a prestigious international essay competition. And, uh, and then why do we do it? Uh, we think um, it will help boost um, literacy, especially back in schools in Nigeria as students compete with um, others from 53 Commonwealth countries. Uh, boosting literacy is one of the key areas uh, of focus for us at um, NSF UK. So we support our alumni members uh, with the required information to participate. Uh, entries can be as many as 12,000, which they did um, about last year. And, uh, and pre-COVID um, period, the overall winner used to be flown uh, to London to meet with um, Lady Camilla Bowles, uh, the Duchess of Cornwall. Um, there are of course other prizes as well, ranging from bronze, um, silver, gold, and um, participating certificates. In 2020, uh, half of our entries won bronze or higher, and previous year we had about 33% um, success. Uh, other incentives, uh, there is a 100,000 Naira prize uh, to the overall winner, uh, a Chief Lai uh, Akimbode Literacy Prize. Uh, NSF UK as well, we give um, cash prizes. Uh, so to go to awardees, we, we give um, a prize of 10,000 Naira. And then the same amount uh, to nominated teachers from the school for supporting the kids. So this evening, uh, Vicky, assisted uh, by um, talks as well, talks out during day, will be running, um, you know, a workshop just to cover the basics about the competition. And uh, I really hope after today that we'll get a little bit more interest uh, going forward. Um, I think that's all I have to say, Nikki. Uh, Vicky, over to you. Uh, thank you, Wally. Thank you for that brief um, introduction. Like I said, welcome everybody. It's lovely to um, see that there are quite a few people on board. Um, if we can start sharing the PowerPoint, please. And I'll just take you through what we will be doing today. Okay, so uh, we're gonna be talking about the role of the NSF reps the competition essay topics, um, recent winning essays, referencing, submissions, awards, 
video oh. clip of previous winners questions and answers now with regards to the video clip um they are just uh this will be something that you can look at in your own spare time due to um timing there are quite a few of them and you know it would take a lot of time to show that so um on the um slide three we're going to talk about the role of the nsf rep and i'll hand you over to tokumbo Denride, who is the rep for reagan memorial girls school baptist girls school and they've always taken part in this competition so um tokumbo over to you please Okay. Thank you, Vicky. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome, everyone, um, uh, to, the, to this workshop. Um, I'll be going through the roles and responsibilities of the NSF UK rep um, in order for them to, uh, or for you to sort of prepare yourselves or your students um, going forward and participating in this competition. Now, the, the, the first thing, could you share the, I think there should be a roles and responsibility slide. Right. Right, the first thing you need to, 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 to sort of um, do, uh, you must have a relationship with your alma mater, i.e. Uh, build a relationship with your, the, the, the school itself, the principal. Um, uh, so once the competition comes out, you just need to get in touch with the principal or your administrator to sort of inform them that this competition is now out. The next thing you need to do is to request uh, for a nominated English teacher who will be your main contact. You actually need this because you're gonna be working closely with the English teacher to sort of um, at different stages to know where you are. Um, you know, the competition now is open to uh, either um, you know, you have the junior category and you've got the senior category as well. Uh, you'll be contacting the English teacher to make sure that, you know, uh, they select the right candidates for the, for the essay competition. Um, the next one, please. Uh, now, although in the introduction we said you can, uh, you know, put in as many entries as possible, but if you're actually... Um, uh, first timers uh, that will suggest that you put in a few entries per category. So you have the junior category uh, and then you have the senior category. So you put in a few entries to sort of see how you get along. Uh, constantly, I've repeated, constantly liaise with the teacher to see where we are um, and the progress. So constant checking to make sure that, you know, they're on track. And also, uh, you, you have to ensure the rules and, uh, of the competitions are followed uh, to avoid being disqualified. It's very, very important you do that. Right, because you took it off. No, not yet, not yet. Don't take it off yet. Don't take it off yet. I just want to sort of finish off by saying the most important thing that I'll say, the responsibility lies with the, uh, the rep to sort of sell the benefits off this essay competition uh, and to ensure participation by your school. It's really, really important. You have to sell the benefits of what the, 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 the competition is all about. So you have to do a lot of reading on it and then sell the benefits. Thank you. Um, um, thank you, Tokumbo, for that. Um, so um, every rep on here should know exactly what they need to do and uh, that they're in constant touch with their with their schools and uh, you know encouraging the teacher nominated teacher in um, what they're supposed to do and I hope that is um, self-explanatory. Um, if we go on to the essay topics now one of the themes that I would like to touch on is um, teachers understanding the essay topics because if the teachers don't understand it, then definitely the kids are not going to understand it. So the teachers have to make sure that they read these essays and understand the topic so they're able to relate it to um, the students. And after doing that, the, the, the teacher has to make sure that these essays um, are monitored and they check the essays 
um, what is written, um, ensuring that the, the students are answering the right topics and putting in the right um, topic numbers, et cetera. Um, the teacher is to encourage creative and imagination writing, you know, imaginative. One of the problems I think we have in Nigeria is that um, our studies are very, you know, very factual. We, we like to, you know, go on the internet, get, you know, big words using, you know, big, well, I call it big grammar and, um, you know, very factual, concise um, information. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. But sometimes it's always nice to let the students write in their own words, in um, the, their own creative imagination. In that way, um, whatever it is that they're trying to convey would stand out, not necessarily getting a lot of information on the internet. So that's one way, but there's nothing wrong in doing that depending on what the um, topic is. But um, at the same time, um, their writing should reflect what the topic is. Because um, over the last two years, we've noticed that some of the essays do not actually reflect um, the topic. And um, we, we've had to put them in and, and some of them don't get anything because it doesn't really reflect what the topic is all about. So as reps, you need to constantly liaise with the teachers on all these pointers that um, I have um, spoken about. Another thing is for the teacher to be aware of plagiarism. And this, this is very important as well. Um, the last um, two um, competitions, um, two students were disqualified because of that. Now, um, teachers need to know what plagiarism is, and that is you're just um, quoting somebody else's work without letting, without putting any reference to it, or just appropriating uh, other um, essays from the internet, or appropriating um, information without making any um, references or speech marks to it. So the teacher needs to know that, and hence the teacher has to make sure that these essays reflect what you know, a, um, the, the student is writing. They need to check this. The essays can also be in the form of letters, poems, illustrations, and um, anything that would only enhance the overall quality of the, of the essay, not really adding you know, anything to it, but just you know, like in the junior category, sometimes you can have um, the youngsters talking about the sun and then they just uh, draw a, a, a picture of the sun. So you're sort of um, illustrating what you're talking about. You know, th this usually happens within um, the, the, the junior um, category. Then also you have to make sure that um, the references have, have to follow um, a required format. And um, on the flyer that was sent, we, we actually um, put in some guidelines as to how um, these um, formats has to, has to be submitted. So essays have to be in Word doc only. And the essays also have to be checked as per the entries and also the number of words. Now, two categories, junior and senior. They have words of the junior category has words of the 750 words and the senior has a um, 1500. You have to ensure that, um, the, well, this is the teaching that has to ensure that these um, essays correspond, the, the, the words are checked and they correspond to what the entry is asking for. On the essays as well, don't take it off yet. Thank you. Um, also, on, on each essay, um, the student should only put their names only. No schools, no address, telephone numbers, because we've had that in the past and we had to take them off. And they also have to make sure they've got only the correct title of the, uh, of, of, of the category and the topic number, because we've also noticed that um, teachers are not actually looking at the essays, uh, the, the students write the wrong um, title of the essay. And sometimes they mix up 
the topic numbers. So the rep also has to ensure that um, they draw this um, information to the teacher's attention. And rep also can also have a look themselves because if the teacher is submitting uh, to the rep, the, the rep can also have a look. So there's a lot of work to be done in that aspect because in the last competition, we had to take off a lot of um, information Definitely. And if we, we didn't want to return these forms, I mean, sorry, these essays, because we felt that it would not be nice that the students have done a lot of work and then return it saying that we can't put it forward. So we had to amend a few things in there to make sure that students had a chance of um, getting at least a participation certificate. So it's very important that the rules and regulations are followed. You do not study Next you slide, can. please. Okay. Um, nope, I think you've... Okay, sorry, so links to the recent winning essays. What I've done is to put um, links to different um, essays for the, the last um, 2020, 2020 essay competitions. These links, you can have a look at them at your own leisure. And um, I was a little bit upset when I saw that, you know, we, we, we had um, um, entries from Ghana and Ghana is winning and Nigeria is not, you know, winning, you know, the overall runner-up prize. So um, we, we got to do so, you know, much better. A lot of these essay competitions is always won by um, the subcontinent, the Asian continent. So you've got Singapore and you've got India. And I don't see any reason why um, West Africa, apart from Ghana, should um, win these things. So all these essays, you can have a look at them. They're on YouTube, there are links to it. And it gives you a guideline as to how these winners wrote their essays. And that would help you in guiding um, the teachers and also guiding the teachers how to um, look at the children's um, essay. Um, next slide, please. Um, also, we have um, different styles of references. There are many styles to choose from and we encourage you to research on how to reference to be sure you get it right now this is for the teachers um, but the reps also you've got to make sure that you, you let the let the teachers um, know about know about these we have um, examples of how you make references so if if um, you use speech max um, you've got to put it um, where did you get it from if it's um, from the internet, you've got to um, reference it where exactly you know you got it from. All the items are listed in your in your references. Um, quotation marks must be applied, and um, you you just have to make sure that wherever you're getting your reference from, it is important that you 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 make a note of it. And at the bottom of this slide, you will see um, examples of um, references. This PowerPoint will be shared with everybody. So it will help you to um, go, th go through it and you understand exactly what it is you know, we're, 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 we're talking about. So here are examples of um, website um, references that you can use. So if you're using from, um, a website, this is what you need to do, the date, the published date, um, date it was accessed, that sort of thing. Um, so that's, that, that's a website reference. Can you click on more? Can you click on more references so that? So that this shows you, um, you know, a website, the references you use for website. If you go on to the next slide, you would see a different type of um, reference. So if it's from a book, you need to put the author's name and title of the book and publisher and year of print. And the reason for this is 
plagiarism again, which is what is, is very important that we don't lift other people's um, um, source of materials without referencing it. So these are just examples of what you need to do. Okay, um, so far, Tokumbo, do you want to add anything to what I have said so far? No, um, not at this point. I think you pretty much covered it. Um, you, the, the most important thing is the, the, the relationship you build and um, your commitment to um, trying to sort of expose the students to compete internationally. And, and this is one of the, the ways you can actually expose your students. Um, and, but you have to have a very, very good relationship with your school. Uh, the principal and ultimately the uh, English teacher for you to be able to drive this forward. So that that's that's uh, all I can add. And also, we, we, it will be a good practice. This is another suggestion where you can actually body up. Uh, you can body up with a a, a, a school, uh, for example, Regan. Uh, I kind of like. Uh, I bodied up as a as a rep for Reagan. I bodied up with uh, uh, the likes of Holy Child, Government College, Ikorudu, because they have some they they have some good practices in in different areas. Um, and so I sort of walk hand in hand with the with the reps to sort of see how they're doing theirs in their school. We share we, we kind of like share best practice, what we're doing well, and how we improve on it. Uh, would be would be would be very helpful as well, so that's a pointer. Okay, um, thank you for that, Tokubo. And also, you, we're also educating the teachers in a way um, as to how things are done internationally. I'm not saying the teachers don't know, but sometimes it's just always best to clarify this to them and how best practice of how things are done here to to ensure that the um, students stand a chance of. Um, getting at least a participation certificate. So um, next slide talks about the submission and guidelines. So all essays are to be submitted via email to our mailbox, which you have. And I'm sure everybody has the flyer of the actual competition. If we don't have it, I will post it on the um, NSF notice board. The closing date is the 28th of May. Um, only the school, i.e. to be the school administrator or the teachers can submit essays on behalf of their students. We don't want any students submitting essays because um, of safeguarding issues. So the school should submit or the teachers submit on behalf of the students. Um, for submissions outside the UK, teachers are requested to make a group submission on behalf of the pupils. And at the same time, they should submit a separate sheet listing the student name, date of birth, category of uh, um, essay ed entered, and the essay title number. And that makes things much easier for us to collate the information and match each essays to um, the student. Um, what we need, well, I need to emphasize the reason why we only want the student's name on the essays. And that's because when it's submitted, we, 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 um, the, the markers, those who mark the essays um, are not required to know the student's name so that they, they're not uh, being biased. So they don't know who they are. So when we submit them, we submit them according to a number. So we only know the number and they know the number. And um, um, we don't know who's going to mark it. So it, it's, it's best that um, please, please ensure that the students don't put any other information. They can put their name on the essays, but we will take it off, which is the, the reason why we said the word document. So it's easy for us to just take the name off and then we can um, load it onto the portal. Um, for individual submissions, parents can submit on behalf of their children and we NSF UK would coordinate and submit all entries 
on behalf of the schools and individuals. So basically, um, individuals can also in the UK can actually submit the essays as well, as long as it's um, submitted by their parents. There has to be a, an adult submission by email, obviously. Um, awards, the all successful entries get a participation certificate from the Commonwealth Society and um, gold, silver and bronze award certificates are given to reward excellence in writing. And then one overall winner and runner up will be chosen from each category. And these winners are flown to the UK for a week of educational cultural activities and attend a special awards ceremony. Now, last year, last year we couldn't do that because of um, COVID, so it was done virtually. But you know, hopefully, we don't know what's going to happen this year. Maybe it's possible. In, you know, it might not be, or it might be next year. We don't know. But um, virtually, the the essays are actually read out by um, celebrities in the UK. And um, they actually do a virtual um, presentation with the winners. Now, NSF also, um, which you heard Mr. Son Sonwo said, we offer monetary award to gold winners and all gold, silver and bronze winners also receive an NSF UK certificate. And we also have a pot of 100,000 Naira if we do get an overall winner. So we're not talking about just gold only, we're talking about you know, all gold winners are put in a pot and uh, an overall winner is chosen and a runner up is chosen and NSF um, gives an award on that one. And I think that's it so far. Um, there's a video which you can have a look later when we share this PowerPoint and that shows you um, a video of um, winners, you know, I mean, I don't know how many minutes it is, I can't remember. Maybe we can play it so people can, if I think we still have time, we can play it so people can have a look. Can you hear? Oh. Just bear with me one second. honor their astonishing talent. I hope to achieve three things in my lifetime. Yes, just three things. One, I hope to chase dreams like my father. Two, I hope to shape Africa into a scientific superpower. Three, I hope to never forget who I see in the mirror. Some had travelled great distances to receive their certificate from the Duchess of Cornwall. Nathan Swain is from Tristan de Kuna, the most remote inhabited island in the world. We had a travel on a ship for six days, and then we had a stop in Cape Town for three days, and then we had a travel on an airplane to London. It's, it's a nice place, but it's very lot of people too. The Queen's Commonwealth Essay Competition was founded in 1883. It's the world's oldest writing contest. I actually wrote the essay last minute. This was at around 12 o'clock in the night. I was writing and writing and I had to give it in to my English teacher the next day. I didn't realise what was actually going to happen with it because I thought, oh, this is just going to my school for my English teacher. And I didn't really focus that, oh, the prize, what if I won the prize? And then once I heard that I won it, I was with my aunt and my cousins and I was screaming and I was like guys I won I got I got junior runner-up and all that. More than 13,000 young people entered this year from 600 schools in 49 Commonwealth countries and territories. This level of participation reflects a remarkable awareness of the Commonwealth amongst young people and a growing appreciation amongst that generation of the power that technology has brought to their hands. Now everyone has the ability to engage with others from different countries. All the essays focused on the future and how young people will shape the Commonwealth in years to come. Okay, um, that is the end of that. And um, I hope everybody 
um, would um, take all what we've said on board. And um, if you've got any questions, um, you're free to ask your questions now. Um, Vicky, the, um, there was a question um, earlier from Daniel who was asking um, the age limit, if there's an age limit. Um, um, yeah, I can um, see that in the box, 12 year old. Yeah. Yes, they are, that's yeah. in the junior category. The, um, the ages are on the flyer, which, you know, if they go on the um, NSF notice board, I'll put the flyer up again, and that tells you um, the, 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 the ages. So we, we actually need to know the date of birth. So yes, a 12 year old can take part. The categories is on, junior category is under 14 years. And the senior category is between 14 and 18 years. Okay, and that's already been put in the box. Thank you for that. Any other questions? I think there was a question about, um, um, is it just um, schools within NSF? But um, I think Tokumbo has answered that in the chat. Okay. Um, somebody wanted to know a copy of the PowerPoint. Yes, um, we will make that available. We'll put it on the notice board. And um, yeah. I would also like to acknowledge before we actually go on, I forgot to do that, that we do have some teachers on, on this um, workshop. So uh, we'd like to commend them for actually taking time out. Um, to actually um, take um, listen to what we have to say. So um, I think we've got um, a Reagan teacher and there's a Holy Child teacher and I think Methodist girls. Tola, I think you said Methodist girls. Yeah? as well. Yes. yes, I did, I did say, yeah. Yeah, so um, we would like to say thank you for taking time out to actually um, come on board. Um, and I hope um, all what we've talked about, you do understand a couple of you already know how to how to work this out, you know, but um, we just wanted you to be on so that people know that we actually do have um, a rapport with our alma mater and with our teachers. So um, thank you so much for coming. So we acknowledge um, the teachers from Reagan, Government College Ikorodu, Holy Child College and Methodist Girls High School. Um, I want to ask you a question about how much assistance do teachers give students, uh, for example, grammar and punctuation uh, correction, will the rep clarify what is written? Um, yes, um, the, the, the rep has to encourage the teacher to check these things. Obviously, the rep can't, you know, read everything, but they need to encourage the teacher to ensure that there's a proper grammar and punctuation and um, um, corrections. And we're in the age of um, internet, because this is um, an online submission, so most students actually put their stuff online. So they have all this autocorrect, but you've got to be very careful with all this um, autocorrect. So the teacher has to look at it properly before submission. Um. Uh, the back end of that as well, um, it would be nice as well if the rep uh, sort of check, I mean, from my experience, um, I do uh, sort of check, uh, you know, some of the submission uh, for my school. Uh, also, um, it would be nice to have for all the participants, you have a separate uh, page listing their names, the date of birth, yeah. uh, you know, when you're submitting it. So rather than so you have it in one place where just a one page of listing the, 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 the names of the, of the, of the participants, uh, the different categories. So if you have a junior category, you have probably 10 of them entering. You list their names and the date of that because it actually helps. And then you have the senior category, you list their names as well. And, and, and it actually helps us to sort of um, know who submitted what from each school. It sort of helps when we're looking at the... Um, inputting the information onto the portal. Yeah, thank you. And the ages, I have to stress, and the ages. stress on the ages because you know, you got to put the year of birth. So um, the portal can 
automatically throw out, you know, if, if it's wrong, you know, if, if, if the year submitted. So that's another thing that you know, we have to keep an eye on. The teachers should keep an eye on it. The reps as well should keep an eye on Thank it. Thank you. I can see um, uh, your teammates you. got, uh, Tola has got her hands up for a while. Sorry. Tola's got her hands up for a while. I think she wants to ask a question. Uh, okay. Um, okay, Tola. And there are a, a couple more questions as well. So after you, Tola. Okay, thank you very much, Vicky, and thank you, Tokuma. This is absolutely, absolutely amazing, really good. Um, I just wanted to ask if our children who are, our NSF children, it's, uh, I know it's organized by NSF, you can all that. So if you've got children who actually are based here, and uh, they're based here, they're not based in Nigeria, and are actually interested in taking part in this, um, in this uh, competition, is it open to them? Yes, it is as long as a parent submits it on their behalf. So youth groups, for example, because I'm looking at youth groups in church, you know, who are within that age, so long as their parents yeah, take charge of it. Or unless, if, if you're looking in your, in, but with that particular aspect, let's say that you're, you're the group leader, you can yeah. submit on their behalf. Okay. Because you are the group, you're, you're the adult supervising the kids, so you can submit on their house. In that, in that case, you're making a group submission. All right, thank you. Thank you. There's another hand up. Um, um, Aisha Abubakar, um, do you want to ask your question? Yeah, good evening. Good evening. My question goes um, we, we can't hear you. Would you like we to write it in you. the chat? Can you write it in the chat? Aisha, if you write it in the chat and, um, yeah, we'll, and we'll then just we can, come back to you. In, in the meantime, I mean, um, when, when you were telling us about so sorry, Aisha. Um, if if you can, um, we're, we're having problems lis um hearing you. So if you don't mind putting your question in the chat box, if you just type it in the chat box. So in the meantime, um, Vicky and um Tukumbo, there's a question here in sense. Uh, is censorship censorship a role of the teacher? Uh, for instance, if a student uh, mentions current COVID vaccine racketeering in the essay, can the teacher yank it off for bad image projection? I'll answer that. First and foremost, they have to follow what the essay titles are. So I don't see where that one's going to come in. You have to follow the, the essay, uh, essay titles. It, yes, it's all on uh, about COVID, but you need to um, follow what the essay title is asking you to write. And um, obviously, if there's anything that is not appropriate, the, student, the teacher has to make sure that that essay is rewritten, basically. Absolutely. I mean, that, that, that's, that's quite right. Um, just at the back end of that, it, the, 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 you've got a list of, um, it's kind of like writing, an, obviously, an essay. You've got the junior category. It specifically asks you the different topics and, and what they want you to write about so you're reading it and then you are writing writing the essay based on the topics that you've been given okay There's, any um, more questions can no more um, um questions that i can see however um there's um Shade has said um, the St. Anne's principal is also on board. So oh, just oh fantastic. That St. Yeah. Anne's um, principal welcome to St. Anne's, St. Anne's principal. Welcome. You're welcome. Um, and somebody asked, um, I think you've probably answered this, but I'll just, um, can the school submit on behalf of the students with the school's email? Yes, yes, yes. 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 Actually, we actually do prefer that, to be honest. We actually do prefer that, but you know, that, yeah. that would be fine. It could be the teacher's email 
or it could be um, the, school. the school. And another pointer, um, want, um, I, I would suggest the principal to allocate a, a, an English teacher, a teacher, one teacher, not several teachers, one teacher. However, you have some um, schools where you have a junior and a senior. Yeah, uh, okay. You know, well. uh, like government college you could do. So you, the, the, the representative. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I stand corrected teachers, there. Yeah. Um, you know, the junior and the secondary and the senior groups. Yeah. Okay. Um, there, there's, um, I think this is more of a comment. As teachers could, as teachers, could you put students forward who are not necessarily in Nigeria or as a part of the NSF, but I think that's been answered that it's not just restricted to um, um, NSF um, um, members, school members. Is that correct? Yeah. So I just seen something about what method of submission. It's an online yeah. submission. Yeah. Absolutely. It's, Absolutely. It's, it's detailed in, in the flyer. So if you read the flyer, it tells you that um, it, it has to be an online submission. And what my help is, we'll probably recirculate the flyer again because the um, the thing went out and we'll do it again. So everybody picks it up and then recirculate it. And it would be nice for the rep. Again, it's part of the rules and uh, rules of the rep to read it, uh, read the instructions and actually brief the teacher because uh, they're going to be coming to you uh, for you to clarify some questions that they might have. Um, I would also um, like to point out that teachers, whatever you do, do not write these essays for your students. Please let the students write these essays. Let them use their imagination. Let them use their creativity. You can only direct them. Don't write these essays for them. And also make sure they don't copy, which is plagiarism, because all these essays, actually, I don't know about Nigeria, but in the UK, especially in the universities, if you're writing dissertations or project, your, your project or dissertations are put on a particular software that can detect mm -hmm. whether this is an original essay or is not an original essay. So please, let them write it themselves. All you need to do is just to make sure that they're writing specifically to the titles of um, their categories and to ensure that, you know, there's, um, the grammar is looked at, punctuations and, and things like that. All the things that you actually do teach the children in school, which is, you know, grammar, summary, um, punctuation. And then these essays, you don't even have to write a, a long story. You can write poems. You can write a letter. You know, you, you, you can write an ode, you know, you know, ODE as in, well, which is like a poem, really. A poem. So it doesn't yeah. necessarily have to be, um, you know, a, a big essay. It could just be a poem on, you know, the, one of the questions, I think one of, one of the, um, I'll give you an example was talking about how did you feel about um, COVID? You know, what did you miss? What do you miss about, you know, during lockdown? You know, oh, you know, I, I couldn't go to a party. You know, something in their own imagination. That's mm -hmm. what you're supposed to do, teachers, please. It's all about creative writing. You know, it's all about creative writing. So yeah. When, when we share the PowerPoint, you would have a look at some of the um, their links to um, YouTube um, sessions where you see the essays being read out and you'll be surprised at those who actually won the overall um, um, prizes, the overall, the gold overall and runner up. Their essays are so simple. They are actually so simple. There's nothing to it compared to writing, you know, something really, really heavy and drastic. So really, that's what it's all about. We're trying to guide Nigerian students away from, you know, factual, you know, how should I say? We're guiding them towards the softer touch, the softer skills, using their imagination, not just 
cramming everything and just you know putting it all out there so yeah. that's that that's what we're encouraging um any more um, questions um, um, the, there's just, um, I, I'm not sure whether you've seen it in the chat, um, a Dr. Esther Lambo is on board. Um, oh, of Saint so, Anne's School Ibado. Yes, yeah. yeah, so it's just an acknowledgement. And um, there's a question here, if a student, um, if a student is, I think it's, if a student is helped to write and one, is there a way such can defend his write up? Oops. Well, I did. I just said that um, teachers should not help students write the essays. But if that happened and they, they win, obviously, I'm not the Royal Commonwealth Society. They decide on these things. And if they feel it's befitting, fine. But deep down, that student or teacher should know that they didn't really do a good job, to be honest. So but there's not much I can um, say on that one. Don't forget that we are only facilitating the entries. We don't have anything to do with, you know, awarding. We don't have anything to do with reading the essays. It's not our jurisdiction. We are only trying to help and to foster relationship between our schools, the alumni and the schools back home, and also to ensure that our students also can take part on the um, literacy world stage. So that, that that's that's what I'm going to say on on, on, the, on that bit. Um, um, anything else? Just well, um, I'm just going to check if Aisha is um, her link is um, better now because she didn't type her question in the chat box. So Aisha, are you there? Are you able to ask your question quickly? We've got 13 minutes left. Aisha Abubakar. Oh, just one okay. thing to add, Excuse just me. one thing to add about teachers, the, the, these essays are targeted at the students, not the teacher. You can, you can support them, but you just have to get the best out of the student itself. So it's, it's teachers should not even start writing the essays for them. Exactly. They should leave the, leave the students to actually do the work themselves. Um, to sort of boost their confidence and support them, but well, please do not write the essays for them. Anything else? Um, I just thought of um, something. So, um, sorry, yes. Kemi, I just thought of something again. Um, I would also encourage the teachers to look at some of the students that are not necessarily the, their best students in English, but mm. students who are struggling you know, to help them because that would also boost their confidence. So even if they don't win anything, but their essays are acknowledged, they will get a certificate, a participation certificate, which will go a long way to boost the morale of that child. So it doesn't necessarily have to be all your top students in English, you know, think about the ones that are struggling that you can actually help. It's a way of um, encouraging and boosting morale. Um, uh, Anything else? We've posted in the chat. Oh no, there's um, the national president of um, St. Anne's is also on board. Um, I've just been um, told um, it's in okay, the chat. Okay, you're welcome. Welcome everybody. Um, I'm quite yeah. happy that um, People are taking time out for this. So it will be interesting yeah. to see what, um, it will be an interesting read. <laughs> That's right, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it will be an yeah. interesting and read. And just one other thing that I've just um, received a, a, a message that um, um, individual alumni also give monetary gifts to students. Um, oh yes, that That's oh, yes, yes. Yeah, um, uh, Ruga UK uh, being the, obviously the custodian, uh, you know, I'll say custodian in our, in our part, we do give um, monetary uh, awards to uh, students uh, that have won the gold, um, silver and bronze award. And also we do give uh, uh, monetary awards to the teacher and we've done we've done so this is our third year that we're going to be competing and yes we do do it on a yearly basis 
And this is an addition to what they've got from the uh, from NSF. NSF. Yes, um, Holy Child and does GCI that, does it as well. Yeah, and um, GCI does it as well. Yeah, it, it's a good thing because it also shows that the alumni in the UK they are actually working on behalf of the alma mater. So it sort of boosts um, the alumni's images that they're actually doing something for the school. So. Um, with regards to Holy Child, I'll use Holy Child as an example. It's, um, we're, we're into teacher training, um, resources, educational resources. We're not really into bricks and mortar because we've got all that. I know some schools need that, but um, sometimes not necessarily bricks and mortar. It's actually the academic ability of the kids. Um, exposing them to international literacy levels. So that's what we're all about. And um, that's another way of encouraging your school. Um, Absolutely. Any questions? That's it. No more questions. And just to point out that the, um, the slides have been shared in the, um, in the chat box. So you can just download it from, from there. Right, thank you so much everybody for joining and for listening. Um, thank you so much for the teachers for attending. Um, we also, one thing I want to point out is that we're also trying to educate you as well. So you know that, um, you know, you're, you're operating on the international stage and boost your own um, uh, and teaching resources and abilities. So thank you so much for coming and thank you so much for the reps for attending as well. Um, have a good evening, everybody, and um, God bless you all. Um, Mr. Sonwood, do you want to say anything? Uh, director, do you want to um, end up? No, I think um, you, you covered it very well. Um, it's been a very good session. Um, you know, I'm quite pleased in terms of like the numbers. So, um, and, and hopefully, as I said earlier on, um, we kind of like um, doubled the, the, the numbers of um, entries we had last year. So I'm hoping we'll do the same for this year as well. So we get it up to say 100 plus, 140. So um, thank you everyone for coming and, um, and good luck in, in, the, in the essay competition. I'm sure you're gonna enter anyway. So good, good, best of luck with that. Um, um, just, just, just before we go, I don't know if any of the teachers are on. So maybe if they can raise their hands so we can sort of spotlight them. It'd be nice to just, you know, put names to faces, actually. Um, right, just before you, you do think? that, Vicky, sorry, just before you do that, just let everyone know that uh, there is in the chat also the flyer for the uh, competition as well. So people can go into the chat and download that as well. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Soji. Um, can the teachers, you know, raise their hands Someone's up? There's a hand up. So, so sorry, um, 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 Vicky. I have that. There, there are two hands up. So there's um, uh, Mr. Charles Adde. I can't see your surname, but um, Charles, you have your hand up. Do you want to unmute yourself, Charles? Hello. Hello. Did you want to yeah. say something or are you just raising your hand up as a teacher? Just raising my hand up as a teacher. Please. Right, okay, but we can't uh, see okay. you. We want to see your face. Hi, okay. okay. All right, just for you. Okay, okay, so can we see your faces so we can acknowledge our teachers, new and new teachers who are coming on board and those who already we have know what to do? You know, so um, thank you so much. You got five of them. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Um, without further, well, we can call so it. Somebody just asked how many entries for each school. There isn't a limit, is there? There, there, no. there, there, isn't, a, there isn't any limit. But if it's your first yeah. time, we kind of suggest you um, not have many entries because it could be a bit cumbersome if it's your first time. We didn't say the teachers, though. Why don't you spotlight them so that we can see them? Well, they're not, you know, if, they, if they're not... There, they're not, there are people who are raising up their hands. That's yeah, why they yeah but they're not showing themselves. Them. If they don't show themselves... No, some no, of them have cameras on. 
There are two here with cameras. Yes, on, we, like, we, we are, we, we are working on that. Yes, yes. And there's, there's a, a big, big role for Lashade as well. There's a Gerald. Yeah, yes. so it's, um, been nice to meet you. There's Jules. Yes, hello. Yeah, exactly. Um, Charles, hello. We, can only, Charles we can only see a paper. Content. Evelyn. Hello. hello. Can they be spotlighted, please, so that we can see them properly? Yes, we're them. spotlighting them, hello. but if they don't have their cameras on, um, they have they, their they cameras have on. Their, they do not have all their cameras. Do. They, there's. Um, <laughs> we've got we've got eight of them um raising their hands um exactly. yes and um so do you spotlight in them well i just thought we should just acknowledge them that's all. yeah yeah, yeah it's fine it's good enough okay. uh, they've raised their hands and uh, you know not put them on the spot Okay. No, it was because um, Vicky said they should put their cameras on. That's why that we should see their faces. That's what. Yeah. Okay, I'm I'm spotlighting them. Um, yes, the ones we can who see. Have their um, on. Paula Shade, yeah. Bebe, yeah. yeah. There's then there's a Shade Egun Jobi. Yeah. Um, Mudupe Akinria Day. Sorry. <laughs> Charles, we yeah. can see you. Um, thank you. Esther Lambo. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, I think I All think right. uh, there's a Timmy Tokwe. I think I've seen a Timmy Tokwe. Yes. Okay. Yes. Hi. Thank okay. you. Okay, so thank you, everybody. Yes, Keep up the good work. And I look forward to receiving these essays. And um, we would um, send you this PowerPoint. Yeah. So it would help you to um, see how you can progress mm -hmm. towards submission. Thank you so much, everybody, and have a good evening. Mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you, so, you much. so much. Thank you very much. Yeah, Thank Happy. you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone. Absolutely okay. beautiful. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh.